uh, Triforce Del GC. I thought like just cut caught off like you know do another video though. But ever since like you know last year when I sent my New Year's resolution, I thought we could give a little train down memories from the cons I already went so far, and I could briefly describe each one of them. And like you know during the whole pandemic, because I think we need a train down memory lane. What you guys just missed on like this entire con convention season going on like from la last year now because it's kind of odd now i just like seeing a lot of old pictures that posting them on instagram some i do some i know i know there's something gonna be on tiktok around that time so you got that coming up as well if i just make a video out of it so now we're just gonna make a trip down lane so here goes So this is me. I bring my Zapdos cosplay and that my first convention for January is Pal Comic Con. It's like January is like it's like a start of a new year and what counts is like a wait around that time. And it's kinda like I just like carry all my props to like public transportation that I had to like carry all my stuff. I would get every less stuff because this was a test, like if you're gonna bring any pr cosplays you get to bring. And then you challenge yourself, you're gonna try to go to out of state con. And I've been doing this like for like 12 years now, like on my cosplay journeys when I had to like, you know, bring all my cosplays, like traveling. Cause I'm more like a local New Jersey and New York um, local co co cosplayer just to travel all over the New York area. I know some New Jersey areas, you could just like drive locally. There's like a quick drive to get there. I think my time and patience is like traveling, and I like, always screenshots when I had to, to get the directions, like where the con is at. Because that's like kind of key, if you case you get lost in the city and don't know your whereabouts, I always like, you know, Google Maps. When I arrived to the convention, you just see like a lot of people like enjoying the con themselves, all the merchandise they have, all the vendors. They have all like good, good rare stuff too, if you have to like look on their websites. And their bio, and I see all my cosplay friends so as like join around the con. That they, I just see them everywhere, no matter where I go. Cause it's kind of more like an adventure. I mean, cosplay, video gaming, it's kind of more like a diverse community that we had to like, you know, social interact or maybe we're allies. We just grow up on aging. I felt like you know, cosplaying and just like go to cons, and it's kind of like memorable. For everyone, especially me. I mean, I just bring my all my cosplays, like I did my Zapdos. It was well worth it doing it. Do all my strategy and execute it well. It's fun to have some friends around you, and this is like visiting in their vendor table. This is have their prints around there. I always take pictures with them. It's like we have a, a bond memory, and we just had to communicate just to like socially interact with everybody around the convention. Katsukon 2020, Gaylor Resort, Baltimore, Maryland. Now this particular area is most challenging to get there. If you want to try to go like out of state, have all your cosplays for a full weekend. It always occurs on Valentine's Day. And some point like I see people playing Pokemon Go. This is like to play in the community day or just meet up to do like raid battles like for a legendary Pokemon. But this is a nice area. You can enjoy the sea view, you can get photo shoots around there, walk around, all the restaurants, the site view. I mean it's pretty amazing. This you know if you come in as your first time, you just want to get more experience. It's like traveling like, on your own. Especially the venue too of all the artists and like all merchandise they have around here too. It's pretty neat to go seeing what mercy have you can find and outside you can just like go <laughs> it's really amazing especially indoors you get to take photo shoots and go to cosplay meetups with everyone attending on their fandom it's kind of decide what you're in you like i always like disney pokemon smash brothers around that time 
it's kind of your vibe and your cosplays and what you're showcasing what you have um, it's kind of fun and interactive and you get to social with everyone at the at Katsukon just to make it much more memorable I say that man, this con was pretty like my favorite con of all times. Especially in the nighttime, you get to do some night photo shoots. You get some great pictures around there. You get to see go to prom. Well, Katsu Ballroom, just to like presume. You gotta dress formally to get into the con. Like any cosplay going formally, they'll let you in. But kind of rough you have a couple around that time, and then I just checked it out that one time like 2019. So barely, there's always like a couple's like a day to so go around the ball around there. But it's kind of like remind me of high school prom to do that. But seems worth it though if you just have someone to go with you by that time. And lastly, by the nighttime, it's this is where the real fun begins around the like Katsukon. It's like everyone just socially gathering around, and it's barely you get some like just get some cool photo shoots at the nighttime, especially the Star Wars lightsaber. If you went attend the Star Wars photo shoot around that time, and you get some good shots. So we're we're barely next to the gazebos at around that time. And barely, like, it's kind of split the gazebo middle size for photo shoots, and then one side to do like a separate like group fandom photo shoot to do. This is kind of like my kind of con because you see like so many people from New Jersey, New York, Washington D.C., Maryland, Virginia. I see some people like fly overseas to attend Katsukon if they're going as their first time to go to a con around there because it's like you gotta have a lot of travel experience and know your way around. I mean, I know I got there like when it's like nighttime when it was like pre-register tickets around that time and everyone just like lining up and every pre Thursday before Ka Katsu I always would just go end up with the after parties and going on all night it's just like the fun never stops around there you're just vibing all night just to like celebrate for KatsuCon pretty much you just have to like enjoy Katsu while it lasts around that time Cause Lily, you, you probably just stay up like 4 a.m. in the morning. I know some people stay like 3 or just want to like get ready for tomorrow. If, if pre-night Thursday is kind of like a, a pre-party sequel way right before it's like Friday and Saturday. Those are like the big parties around that time. But it really, we wanted to get the cats here though. It's much your money's worth. You just have to manage hotel. Manage expenses around their food around photo sh shoots to do so. And just remember, you just have to enjoy Katsu, like, the fun of it. Just to, like, get into the rays around there. I mean, a lot of people just, like, got into, like, you know, spinning lights around there. Do some crazy, like, dance thing around that time. Especially you just do raving around the DJ booth. Where it was, like, so crowded in there. They were just like vibing of their fist pumping up and down around there. Yeah, it's like this was like best party con you do. It's like a party and a con itself around there. And it always gets full when it was like, you know, maximum capacity. Like everyone's just like a tank Katsu con. It's like everyone's favorite con to go to. It's like KatsuCon is my far away from home con I love to attend. Even if you have a single life around there or just get some travel experience, it's worth it to go there. I just for the sake of it, it's like I love seeing my friends all over like out of states. So if you want to go this one, this is your spot from home to go for the winter. Fujicon 2020, March 7th and 8th, uh, Embassy Suites, Chicago, New Jersey. This was the very last convention that occurred uh, right before we had the lockdown in New Jersey. All of a sudden, the coronavirus, a.k.a. COVID-19, all of a sudden just began to spread around there. We had to take our safety matters in our own hands. We had to ensure like, everyone is safe around the con, not getting sick. We provide sanitizers. And we provide everyone to have a wonderful time at the convention. I even seen a group of students of a teacher want to see do a school trip, and that kind of just really live all their younger years. And they like anime, video games, cartoons around there. We even have a game, but a gaming bus around that time. Just walk in, 
It like lasts like three hours. We can fight video games like Smash Brothers, Mortal Kombat, Mario Kart 8, Dragon Ball Fighters. Everyone here is like to play video games a lot. It's like all this convention provided around there. It's just like entertaining guys, so really just get experience and just be more involved and diverse around the con. It's really like Poochie was my con away from home around there. Even the local cosplayers to do. We also have panelists, like voice actors, performers, like do all their dance skits. I always see a lot of them like, you know done Instagram, TikTok, and then we have like a group of cosplayers that have TikTok to just like dance around. It's like we have our own TikTok lounge. And we have our performers or performers to like perform on stage and uh really like, in a panel, a game room. I even did myself a a trivia game and I did my panel for even a phone smith thing. It was fun to go do to go the experience around there. Best to showcase or just entertain people who are around you in, in the convention around. This was kind of like a last resort con. This for everyone that wants to enjoy while it was gonna be locked out. I don't know what else to do or anyone's like plans like way right before the lockdown. But I'm probably just like grateful like this kind of just like the well, last day, way right before the lockdown, we kind of enjoyed ourselves, cosplay vibing, friendships. Even a lot of people in the of cosplay, or, or remember, cosplay is not consented though. You don't have to dress up and just like me in full character. As long as you got the experience, it all that matters. And and we even have our after parties too. I mean, it's just, we're just all having a good time right before the lockdown was gonna occur to happen. And we did our cosplay contest, we did a Saturday and a Sunday. Two days, so everyone has a chance for winning prizes. We even did it like a prize winning to American Genie, the water park, or the Nickelodeon universe. It was worth a while. I'm grateful that me and the staff at PoochieCon, uh, I work at staff myself, we just made this con possible to make it all count, but before we're to be under lockdown. Well, well, I hope you enjoy the train ride recap, like all the cons I just briefly described, all the meetups around there and isolation and, you know, the whole story about like from 2020 was kind of like the craziest year just as like all time. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope I'll see you guys next time.